number number this in your heart. I've got to live ready. Amen. I've got to live ready. Amen. And they shall take of the blood, verse 7, and strike it on the doorpost and the upper doorpost of the house. Or a plaque that says this is Psalms 91 territory. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Amen. That's exactly what Tony was doing in the spirit, even though he didn't know it. He was placing the blood of the Lamb over the archway of his home. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Living prepared, being guarded, resi residing behind the blood. Amen. 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 Glory be to God. Glory to God. Notice he didn't say paint it on the doorpost. He said strike it. The blood only comes when the striking of the lamb. You only partake it when you understand it takes striking on your behalf. Amen. It's not a paint, a little picture with the blood of Jesus. It's striking on your heart. Amen. You're supposed your heart's supposed to feel what the master paid for you. Your heart's supposed to feel what your master paid for you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory to God. And they shall eat the flesh in the night, roast with fire, unleavened bread, and with the bitter herbs. They shall eat it. Eat not of it raw nor soaked in water, but roast with fire. His head with his legs, the whole lamb, every part. How many of you got all of Jesus? Or you just got the saved part of Jesus? Come on. Come on. Do you have the Lord Jesus? Do you have the healing Jesus? Do you have the baptizing Jesus? Amen. Do you have the master Amen. Jesus? Yeah. Do you have the Amen. holy son of God Hallelujah. Jesus? Or has he just saved you? Praise God. Amen. You got to eat him. Lips, ears, knuckles, legs, tail. All the lamb is what you're supposed to partake of. The servant king. Is he in you? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, to Glory to God. Verse 10. And you shall let nothing of it remain. Look at somebody say, that applies to all the Baptists and all the comfortable Christians. Well, I want to just go to church and have a happy church. I don't want that Pentecostal stuff. I don't want that talking in tongues. I just want to be saved. You partake of all of it. You don't pick and choose out of this word what you're going to walk in and what you're going to put on. You put all the lamb on. You eat all the lamb. You eat everything about Jesus. You consume all of it. Amen. If it's in the Bible, bow to it. If it's in the word, obey it. If it's in the word, live it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 And you shall... Let nothing of it remain until the morning. And that which remaineth of it until the morning you shall burn with fire. And thus shall you eat it with your loins girded. What? As I'm partaking of Jesus, I'm supposed to be dressed to leave. Amen. Not your best life now. I'm looking for Jesus and I'm ready to go every day. I'm ready to go. Let's go, Jesus. I'm ready. I'm dressed. I'm holy, I'm righteous, I'm prayed up, I'm, I'm repented of, I'm living clean, I'm ready. Let's go, Jesus. I'm watching, praying, and preaching. Let's go, Jesus. I'm ready to go today. Are you ready to go today, or do you have to get ready? Amen. 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 Come on. Amen. You take Jesus dressed and ready to travel with him. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Amen. Have you ever gone, Pastor Joe, have you ever gone to visit a congregation member? You ring the doorbell and you hear a bunch of rustling in the house. It takes them 15 minutes to answer the, the goofy door. Why? They're cleaning up before they let the preacher in. Come on. Selah. How long would you delay if the trumpet sounded, Jesus is coming? Could you go or would you have to get ready? Right. Amen. Amen. Come on. I heard a preacher say, and, and I can't prove that biblically, but boy, it resonates in my, in my Holy Ghost. It resonates in my Holy Spirit. He said, the Lord showed him it's going to be harder for those to go in the air than those that went in the grave. Why? Because they're already in the grave by grace. They're just going to be called up. 
If you go in the rapture, you got to be clean and holy. Hallelujah. I don't think there's anything in here that says you can be in bed with another woman or drinking booze on a bar when the trumpet sounds and you're going. I don't believe that for a minute. Why do you think Jesus said, watch and pray so it doesn't come on you like a thief in the night? Why do you tell the virgins you've got to wake up and get ready? If it was just, you're out of here no matter how you're living. So it's easier to go from the grave than it is in the air. Hallelujah. Come on. And it doesn't say that verbatim in the scripture, but there's scripture that backs that up a lot. Amen. Watch and pray that you be worthy to escape. These things. Well, that's escape is a theology. I'm all for that. Yes. I'm, I want to escape this garbage. Yes. I'm not afraid, but I don't want to have to live it one second longer than I have to. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Boy, that's good teaching. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Amen. Now watch this. You shall eat it with your loins girded, fully dressed and ready to travel. Your shoes on your feet, your staff in your hand, and you shall eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. Hallelujah. Amen. And I will pass through the land of Egypt this night. And will what? The visitation of God did what? Killed them all. Amen. Well, we want you to visit, God. Let me tell you something. If God actually showed up with the Shekinah glory in most churches, half the congregation dropped dead. Amen. Their souls would go to heaven, but their glory land march here would be gone. It would be you view greatly to get back into a trembling, fearful walk with God. For it is a fearful thing to hand of, fall into the hands of an angry God. Amen. And that was repeated in the New Testament, child of God. Work out your own salvation with what? Yeah. Hallelujahs and shouting marches? Fear and trembling. Fear and trembling. Watch this. Can you handle some more? Yes. And this night I will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast, and against all the gods. All say money. 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 Say sex. Sex. Fame. 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 Power. Power. Self-built kingdoms. Self -built I will kingdom. smite all gods of Egypt. I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. And the blood shall be to you. For a token unto the houses where you are. And when I see the blood, when I see the blood, when I see the blood, what's God looking for? The blood of Jesus in your heart. Amen. Not just talked about, lived in. When I see the blood on the doorpost of your house, your dwelling place, death will pass over. Coronavirus will pass over. Oh. Ebola will pass over. Avian flu will pass over. The spirit of death must pass over the blood. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Here's the key. Are you ready? Amen. This is going to knock your hat in the creek. Turn over to verse 21. Then Moses called all the elders of Israel and said to them, Draw out, take you the lamb according to your families, and kill the Passover. And you shall take the bunch of hyssop. And now he's told them to obey the instructions he got. Dip it in the blood that is in the basin and strike the lentil and the side post and with the blood that is in the basin. And watch, and none of you shall go out at the door of his house until the morning. What's the instructions? If you want death to pass over you, stay in Jesus. Stay under his shadow. Amen. Stay inside the house of God. Stay in holiness. Stay in separation. Yes. Don't go out and play with Egypt at all. Amen. Amen. Stay Amen. in your house. Stay locked up yes. with the Lord. Yes. Keep the blood in your life or you will die with the heathens. Yes. Amen. 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 How are we supposed to partake? And behave and act in this manner when all the world's being projected with death and fear and woe. And all you got to prepare in your house is Jesus. Amen. Do I need mess? No, it's okay to have some. 
Do I need extra water? No, it's okay to have it. What you need is the blood of Jesus on your heart, the blood of Jesus on your house, and stay hidden in Christ. Come out, stay out, stay in Christ, and out of the world. Amen. Amen. Don't duck out to see what's happening, what's, what's on the latest trend. Well, I just want to go to one party. Go ahead and get out from under the blood. Well, I just want to go to one, one party. Go ahead and get out from under the blood. Are you sure the sky won't split the trumpet sound while you're out playing? You're betting your life on it. Hallelujah. Come on, brother. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory. Numbers 21. My, 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 my. Numbers, brother, you preach a long time. I only get one day a week at you. Amen. And I got to get you ready. Why? Because you got to get other people ready. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, how many of you know that they've been delivered from Egypt? They're out in the wilderness. God's taking care of us. And remember what Jonah taught us? We're griping and murmuring about right in the middle of God's blessing because he's not blessing the way we want. It's not the blessing I do, I want. So he's raining manna out of heaven, quail uh, coming in supernaturally, and he brought us out here to die. He's blessing them and taking care of their lives supernaturally, but it's not their menu. Come on. That's good preaching, folks. Amen. How many of us, our whole lives are stormed over, we feel like we're in Jonah's well, because... Little things aren't our way. Right. When God's supernaturally taking care of us. Yes, he is. We're abundantly blessed. We're overflowing with stuff. We can't get in half the clothes of our closet. Yeah. We got more food than we need to eat. Yes. And we're griping. Amen. Amen. You know it's true. Glory be to God. Are you ready? Look at verse 4. Now they're griping in the mouth and they're murmuring. And they journeyed from the Mount Hor by the way of the Red Sea to compass the land of Edom. And the soul of the people was much discouraged because of the way they were marching. We don't want to go this way. How many people gripe when God gives the direction and they don't want to do it that way? And the people spake against God and against Moses. Wherefore have you brought us out up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? For there is no bread, neither is there any water in our souls. Lo, this, this light bread. They're saying, we hate this supernatural manna being rained out of heaven. We're sick of it. Cursing God, griping against his leadership because their menu is not what they wanted. Amen. And the Lord sent fiery serpents among their people. They'll tell you what God thinks of opinion. Amen. They'll tell you what God thinks of what you prefer. Let's get it settled, folks. We are not our own. We are bought with a price. This is New Testament quoting. You belong to the Lord. You were bought by his blood. You're no longer your own. You are vessels supposed to be living to his honor. Amen. And if that living to his honor means you change everything about your preference, then so be it. Amen. 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 And God brought fiery serpents among the people, and they bit the people, and much people of Israel died. Therefore the people came unto Moses. What? When the plague came, and judgment came, it turned them back to leadership. Yes. How many of you know they could have dropped on their knees and repented themselves? Right. But they're so spiritually separated from God, all they care about what they eat, what they wear, where they're going, how they do it. If I don't like it, they can't even pray and repent in time. They got to run to Moses, the guy they were bad mouthing. Right. Yeah. Boy, how many times have I seen that? Yes. How many times have we had them stagger in our office and, and oh, pray for me, because hell comes in their house after they were dragging you and me through the through the mud, the blood, the desert. Amen. What's God telling us right now? When this time of sorrows, this time of trouble, you don't want bitterness and anger in your hearts. You don't want to be talking the wrong stuff. You want to be living right. Amen? Amen. Now watch this. These are covenant people delivered from Egypt, dying in the desert by fiery serpents because they were talking the wrong trash. Come on. 
Hello. Therefore, the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned. That's the that's first smart thing came out of their mouth. We have sinned and we have spoken against the Lord and we have spoken against you. Pray unto God that, we, that he take away these serpents from us. And Moses prayed for the people. And the Lord said unto Moses, Watch, make a fiery serpent and set it upon a pole. And it shall come to pass that everyone that is bitten, when he looks upon it, shall live. And Moses made a serpent of brass. That's still the logo for med medicine. Amen. The snake on the pole with the, with the leaves around it. That's Jesus. Took on our sin, became the serpent of sin that we are, hung on the cross so that we might be delivered from our own sin. Amen. Hallelujah. Moses made a serpent of brass, put it on the pole, and it came to pass that as the serpent had bitten anyone, when he beheld the serpent of brass, he lived. What are we going to be doing when coronavirus goes through the land and is smiting people that were cussing God the day before? We're going to keep our eyes on Jesus. Amen. What are you supposed to do when coronavirus starts sweeping through uh, neighboring communities, you keep your eyes on Jesus. What are they supposed to do when this happens? They should turn their hearts to Jesus. What's he teaching us? Look to the blood. Look to the Lamb. Look in the blood. Look to the Lamb. Stay under the blood. Uh, reach out for the Lamb. You'll be fine. Amen. Amen. What do you need to know as a child of God when all these plagues and strokes are coming on the, everybody around you? Look to the blood. Stay in the blood. Rush to the Lamb. Get to the cross. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God. Glory, God. Glory be to God. Now look at God. Psalms 91. Amen. The prophetess came out and heard from the same Holy Ghost who was going to preach a, a sermon on what was already in my nose. Isn't that amazing? Amen. So you know what that means? Pastor TC heard from God. I'm preaching exactly what God wants us to hear. It was confirmed by a prophetess that had no contact with me, getting ready to quote and teach the entire chapter that I was already written down. Praise God. Amen. Amen. You better take it to the bank. I'm preaching exactly what we need to hear. Amen. Glory be to God. I even titled the message, Time of Sorrows, the Coronavirus. Amen. What was she talking about? How to act during the coronavirus. God's trying to supernaturally confirm that we're speaking on his behalf. This is how you live. Looking up, praying up, preached up, hid in the blood, looking to Jesus. Amen. Amen. That's what you do during coronavirus. Amen. Amen. Listen to Psalms 91. <clears throat> he that dwelleth, underline that, off to the side say lives. Lives. Not visits on Sunday. But he that lives in the secret place of the Most High shall abide, abide, underline it, in the, in the Hebrew that means builds his house. When you abide, you build your house. He that lives in the secret place of the Most High shall build his house under the shadow of the Almighty, under the blood, as close to Jesus as you can get. I will say to Donald Trump, I will say to the director of World Health Organization, I will say to the director of the, the, the Infectious Disease Center, you are my strength. No, I will say to God, yes. no matter what they do, no matter their decisions, no matter their wisdom, their intellect, I will say to the Lord, he is my refuge. Amen. Hallelujah. He is my fortress. He's my God. In Him I will trust. Surely He will what? Deliver me from the snare of the fowl. And from the noisome, isn't it interesting, all the way through this psalm, pestilence, diseases, pestilence, diseases. Why do you think it's in there? To prepare us for this day. Amen. Every plague that comes on the earth, we're protected as we look to the blood. Look to our Christ. What? He'll deliver me from the fowler and from the noisome. 
of fearful pestilence. He shall cover me with his feathers under his wings, as close to him as you can get. Come here, Pastor Allen. Remember when Jesus looked at Jerusalem and wept and said, Oh, Israel, Israel, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, how often I would have gathered you under my wing like a chicken covered, covered, gathers her chicks, but you would not. Now destruction's come upon you. Amen. I said, I can stand here in fellowship with him. I can stand here arm to arm with him. I can even stand here with an arm around him if there's something closer. Under his, that's how, that's, I will abide in the shadow of his wings. That's what it's talking about right there. Amen. Amen. Well, I walk with Jesus, not close enough. I stand with Jesus, not close enough. I fellowship with Jesus, not close enough. That's how close you got to get for pestilence, plagues, diseases to not touch you. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 He shall cover me with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid. Say it. Thou shalt, shalt not, not be afraid. afraid. So when they've got their newscast going on, telling you how to survive, who's dying, who's not dying, thou shalt yeah. not be afraid. Amen. For the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence. In my, it's got a, it's got a, a translation over the site says epidemic. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, the Lord is talking to us. The Lord is talking, talking to us. Thou <coughs> shall not be afraid, nor for the epidemic that walks in darkness, nor for the destruction that destroys in noonday. A thousand shall fall. How many have died? A thousand are dead now. Who cares? A thousand shall fall at my side. And yea, ten thousand at my right hand. But it Shall not come nigh thee. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Watch. Watch. Are you ready? Amen. You're not. You're. You're so close. You can see it. It's happening all around you. Only with thy eyes thou shalt behold and see the reward of the wicked. You're going to see it. Remember the first case of Ebola in the state of Texas? It was right across the street. First and only case. And I know why it was the only case, because we're right across the street. Amen. Amen. We took authority. We rebuked it. We played the blood of Jesus and said, You stop right now. Amen. Not a single case after that. Amen. Right across the street. Amen. In the Amen. building Amen. right over there. Ebola. Were we afraid? No. We we're close to Jesus and the Lord rebuked it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Only with your eyes you shall behold it and see the reward of the wicked because thou hast made the Lord which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation, the place you live. I live in and live with Christ. 24 7 is not a once on Sunday thing with me. Amen. Amen. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. What are you supposed to have at home? This is Psalm 91 territory. The Amen. blood of Jesus covers this house, the blood of Jesus covers me. The blood of Jesus covers my son. The blood of Jesus covers my other son. The blood of Jesus covers my wife. Not here! Amen. Amen. You do not come in this house. You do not come in my yard. You will not come by my dwelling. Amen. 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 And if you don't live it, and you're not close to him, you won't speak it. And if you don't speak it, it can knock on your door. Amen. That's right. Amen. In other words, if you're a Sunday morning, when you feel like it, show up now and then, Christian, you are subject to die with everybody else. Amen. Amen. I'm not wicked. You know what wicked means? Twisted. 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 You take what the word says, 
twisted. Well, it's grace, brother, to not obey him. Whether you're saved or not, that's wicked. Amen. You're bought with a price. You don't belong to yourself. You belong to him and say, go to church. Serve him with all your heart. Sell out to him. Well, yeah, but you're, you're wicked. That's a twisted heart. Well, I don't like that. I don't care if you like it. I'm telling you the truth. It'll save your life. Come on, brother. Come on. Yes. He shall give his angels charge over thee. Remember we were talking about angels earlier? Carol, you didn't even know you were covering what I was already going to preach. Well, do angels stop when plagues come? He was, he was talking all around us. Angels don't get in the back seat when you're doing stuff you're not supposed to do. Right. Well, I got angels not at 85 miles an hour in a 55 zone. Well, I Rick, I thought I, I had a blood covenant. Angels bail out when you rebel. Amen. Come on. Amen. So it's irrelevant whether this is coming on me because, because of the judgment of God or because of Satan. It's coming on because something to do with you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Somebody say, that's good preaching. That's good that's preaching. That's Holy Ghost preaching. That's Holy Ghost that's preaching. preaching. That's Pentecostal preaching. That's Pentecostal preaching. That's holiness preaching. That's holiness preaching. preaching. That's Bible preaching. That's Bible preaching. preaching. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now somebody don't get on YouTube and say, well, you're saved by grace. You're not going to heaven by law. I didn't say a thing about being saved and going to heaven. I'm talking about heaven protecting you here. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. The epitome, the totality, the arrogance of the selfishness in the body of Christ makes me want to puke. Amen. Oh, go, oh, 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 it's grace, brother. Don't condemn me. I didn't condemn anybody. I'm just telling you the plague doesn't stop if you're playing out from under the blood. Yes. Amen. And you got to be a fool to believe it does. Come on. Do I speed? Yeah, but I catch myself, repent, and slow down. Because the angels aren't around when you're in sin. And if you don't obey the laws of the land, you're in sin. Amen. That's Bible. That's the same Bible. Same grace Bible. Amen. You walk in the spirit, you don't fulfill the lust of the flesh. You walk in the spirit, you're redeemed from the curse. You take the spirit and throw it out where the curse are, you get the reward of the curse. How many of you know, I, I remember asking my first pastor, I was a cop, I was just, just, I wasn't even housebroke, I'd only been saved about three months. And I joined this Word of Faith storefront church, Pastor Dan Thompson, and I, and I was smoking like three packs of cigarettes a day. And I, and I said, well, will I go to hell if I, if I smoke? He goes, no, you'll just smell like you've already been there. Thought I was cute, thought I was nice, appreciated the fact that he loved me, gave me a big hug. But I would have rather, he said, if you have to ask the question, God doesn't have all your heart. It would have helped me quit years earlier. Come on. But the cavalier answer made me comfortable and not separate from it. Amen. Yeah, I liked it when I was in the church. But looking back on it years later, I wish to God he would have said, no, it won't keep you from going to heaven. It will keep heaven's best from coming to you. Amen. Hallelujah. Verse 12, they will bear you up under with their hands, the angels of God. Lest thou dash thy foot of Against the stone, thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion, the dragon shall thou trample under your feet. Because you have set your love upon me. There's the key right there. You're going you're gonna to live right in the middle of plagues and famine? You're going to set your affection and your love on Jesus like never before. Then you walk on it. Amen. Therefore will I deliver him, I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in what? Trouble. trouble. That's why you don't have to be troubled. In the times of trouble. 
because you're with Jesus. You're tucked as tight up under his arm as you can get. Amen. With, here's the one I've been claiming for 20 years. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Amen. Glory be to God. We only got a couple more scriptures. So in Numbers, we're taught, look to Jesus. In Exodus, we're taught, look to the blood. In Psalms, we're taught, live as close as you can humanly get. Make him your delight and your first love. Amen? Amen. Amen. Now, James chapter 1. This is where it applies to us. I was going to cover other scriptures, but I just don't want to keep you that long. James chapter 1. Say amen when you're there. That's after Hebrews and before Revelation. And I'm not in front of you, I'm trying to help. James chapter 1. Say amen like you're Pentecostal when you're there. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Pray for everybody else. James chapter 1, I'd like for you to look at verse 22. But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only. What? Lying to yourselves. It's all the way in the back of your Bible, folks. After Hebrews, before Revelations. <clears throat> be ye doers, not seers, not hearers, not watchers. If you're not living the word, you're lying to yourself. Amen. Say it with me. If I'm not living the word, I'm lying to myself. Sunday morning Christianity, telling yourself you'll get through all the hell throws at you, you've lied to yourself. Amen. You've lied to yourself. Be ye doers of the word. Not hearers. Oh, I heard that message. Yeah, but are you doing it? No. Oh, I've heard that preacher. Yeah, but are you doing it? No. Be doers of the word, not hearers only. I never miss church. Do you do church? Well, no. no. Then you've lied to yourself that you'll be all right no matter what happens. Amen. I'm not going to add to that lie and lie with you. I'm mm -hmm. telling you, get, get serious. Get as close to God as you can right now. Be doers of the word, not hearers only. This says over the side, cheating yourselves. When I could have been so strong and had so much, I lost out and was defeated. For no reason other than lying to myself, deceiving myself. I cheated my life. Deceiving your own selves. For if anyone be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is likened unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. For beholding himself, going away from church, straight away, right away, forgets what manner of man he was, what you're supposed to be living all about. Now look at Luke 10. So the word to you Christians all over America, with Ebola, Corona, or whatever next plague comes, is watch, pray, preach, be a doer. Get closer to Jesus than you've ever been in your life. You won't be afraid. You will not fall. You will not stumble. You will not be overcome. Luke chapter 10. Look at somebody as you're turning there and say, be a doer. Be a doer. Be a doer. If you've never been a doer before, be a doer now. If you've never been a doer before, be a doer now. Amen. Luke chapter 10. I want you to look with me at verse 1. Jesus has already commissioned the 12. Now he's commissioning 70. You may not be an apostle. You may not be able to number yourself among the 12, but you most certainly are believers, and you fall into the category of the 70. Amen. Amen. What should I be doing when they're all the government officials are working on ways to protect people from plagues, pestilences, and diseases? In these days, the Lord appointed more 70 people. All, and he also... Also sent them. Look at somebody, point your finger and say, He also sent you. He also oh, sent you. You're supposed to be fully clothed for taking of the Lamb. Amen. Ready to go. 
ready to be set. He also sent you. Well, I'm not an apostle, neither were they. These signs shall follow them that believe. Go ye in all the gospel, all the world and preach the gospel. Lay hands on the sick, cast out devils, raise the dead, talk in tongues. Nothing you eat bad will, will harm you. And lo, I am with you always. Amen. He appointed seven also and sent them two by two before his face into every city and place whether he himself would come. You want Jesus to visit your community? You've got to go preach to it first. You want Jesus to visit your family? Jesus, come visit my family. He said, you go preach before I get there. Amen. You open the door for me. Amen. You prepare the platform for me. You get their hearts ready for me. You preach. I'll move by my spirit. They'll fill me. I'll save them. Hallelujah. Verse 2. Therefore said he unto them, The harvest, isn't it amazing he's dealing with harvest, is great, but the laborers are few. Now he said, here's what you do. You pray for more laborers. And he answered their prayers. Behold, I said you. The answer to your prayer in a lot of cases is you doing what you know to do. Let me read it again. That went right over your head. The harvest is great, but the laborers are few. Pray you. You pray, therefore, to the Lord of the harvest, that he would send forth laborers into the harvest. Go your ways. Behold, I send you forth. Hey, folks, there's all kinds of people need to get saved. Pray, pray to me that laborers go to them. Go ahead, ask me. Send forth laborers to the harvest. Send somebody to preach to my family. She's the only one on band. Say it. Behold, I send you. I just gave you the answer to your prayer. The answer to your prayer is you being a doer of the word. Most of the reason you're not getting nothing from God is you're not doing anything for God. You want God to do it through somebody else, somebody else, somebody else, somebody else. Behold, I send you. Amen. You are the answer to your prayers in the many, many, many cases. Amen. Hallelujah. So what he's saying, it's harvest time. That's this time, isn't it? Amen. Amen. The end of the age is the harvest of souls. Yes. The harvest of wheat. Amen. We don't have enough laborers. We should be dressed already, geared up and ready to go preach. Be doers of the word. What should be happening in the middle of coronavirus 91 or 19, whatever it is? Put your eyes on Jesus like never before. Holy and under the blood like never before. Watching and praying like never before. Being a doer and a preacher like never before. And nothing shall come nigh thy throne. Amen. Amen. Did you learn something today? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.